Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ with the Brawl Stars Global. Brawl Stars is gonna go global, maybe? Seems like they changed a lot in here. There's landscape mode and there's auto aim. Those are the two biggest things that kind of changed. They've been changing the way you've been upgrading brawlers here and forth, and this one might be here to stay. Just like that, leveling up bull. Um, how do I feel about landscape? I think it's better. Now, I know all you haters down in the comments are going to say all these things, but I think landscape is better. It just makes more sense. You have more real estate. You know what doesn't make sense, though? Is that these maps were designed on portrait mode. These brawlers were designed on portrait mode. So, inherently, you're going to have Piper, Colt, Brock, and all these maps that just aren't balanced to landscape yet. But it's kind of interesting that they have brought that out. Look at that, I've got auto-aim now and I'm still dying. So, how do I feel about auto-aim in this game? I think it makes it a little too easy. Oh my good- no. Nope. <laughs> Not when I run into Pam like that. Um, we're playing gem grab right now. I, I wasn't even looking at what mode I was playing at. But we've got Mortis there. He's, he's being passive. Okay. So I'm going to go in there, wreck those, except Pam is wrecking me really hard right now. Mortis is really just camping for the gems right now. It's it's a little bit harder for Mortis because of the auto-aim. Because now it predicts it. Okay, I got her with my super by auto-aiming. They're all really low. We're going to steal everything. Now we're at 10 gems. I'm going to be greedy. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. There we go. So how do I feel about auto-aim? I think it makes brawlers like Shelly, Bull, and all the close-range brawlers a little bit too easy. It's almost like easy mode. And it kind of removes the competitive aspect of it. That's the only thing I don't quite feel comfortable with in this new update change. So I'll show you guys what I mean by the new aim with Piper. Like, all the long-range brawlers, you have the joystick. It's really hard with your right hand, and it's not quite as easy to control. I I'm sure it'll get used to, but it, it is a little bit harder. So I thought everything about this update kind of made sense in the direction of global release, Android release. One of the two, I don't know what's happening, but something big could happen, or maybe this update was in the wrong direction and it might not hit global. I don't know. But I, I, I like everything except for the auto-aim. I don't feel comfortable about the auto-aim. And I was like, okay, the whole community is speaking up, speaking up about auto-aim and how it's not as competitive anymore. Top players and ladder are having a harder time climbing. Maybe they'll release, maybe they'll backtrack and take out the auto-aim. But it looks like here in the last balance update, right there, auto-aim target is now calculated on server to improve accuracy. So despite the comments on Reddit, they've actually made auto-aim even better. So there could be two reasons why they actually improved auto-aim. One is to collect data on how much people don't like it, so they can just kind of see the use rate and all of the numbers behind all of that, all the magical stuff. Or number two, they're trying to gear towards global launch. And here's one of the statements that they said, one of the data points we look at when deciding whether Brawl can go global is something called retention. This basically means when a player first picks up the game, how long do they keep playing? A minute? A week? A month? This is a super important question for us since we want Brawl Stars to last for many years. If someone picks up the game, is immediately confused, and never picks it up again, that's a very bad sign and is a challenge we need to overcome before we can consider a global launch. So that is the other reasoning for auto-aim. Um, for the joystick, I don't mind it. I wish that you could have the the tap to shoot again. That That's a little bit easier for Piper to aim. I mean, you, maybe they could introduce both. I don't know. I don't work for Supercell, so this is all a guessing game for me too. But it's uh, kind of interesting how they want retention, and that kind of makes sense to me. If you're a newer player and you're just picking up this game and there's no auto-aim, it's a little bit harder. You might not be as inclined to keep playing it. But here's the other thing though, is that they want it for many years to come. So 
what does that mean exactly? It means that they want this game to last for years, but I feel like for it to last years, you also need the competitive scene of it. If you look at any of the other esports, from CS to League of Legends to Dota, a lot of players don't even play the game anymore, but they love watching it. And I think you need that competitive aspect of that game. Oh, that that Daryl almost got a win. So they, I really do think that they need the competitive aspect of the game to keep audience for the long term, but they're also thinking short term as well. So I, it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know. This is a very controversial topic. I'm gonna get a lot of dislikes on this. You guys go ahead and dislike this video. Dislike it if, just because there's no global release, no Android release, but they just announced today as of this recording that they're releasing it in Denmark. So that's kind of interesting. They're getting closer and closer to global. Who knows what that could mean? It's really hard to talk while I'm trying to not die here. <laughs> I don't think they have a good team composition. Okay, so we just need one more gem and we're gonna get it. Alright, I've got my super. I can aim it anywhere I want, but how do I, how do I cancel it? How do I get out of it? Uh-oh. There we go. Just gotta put it back in the center. Okay. Get out, get out of here, Daryl. I'll save you! Ha ha ha! Best bull in North America! Thanks to auto aim. So here's another interesting thing is that they released they their official Brawl Stars account retweeted Molt's video talking about global. So it kind of hints to me that they're aiming towards global, and this is the the biggest update. It could make or break it? I, I don't know. But I I like the direction that they're going for and the goals that they're trying to achieve. As for auto-aim, I'm... <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this whole update. Um, if you think this is going to be for the Android release, for the global release, or are they going to scrap the game? Let me know. I'm really interested to see what you guys have to think about this. Thanks for watching. Just enjoy, take my advice. You say.